Hello everyone, my name is Mac, and welcome back to yet another episode of Highlights from the Permanent Collection. We are excited to bring to you today a local favorite and Lamar alum, Lynn Sweat. In 1934, Lynn Sweat was born in Louisiana, but his family moved to Nederland and he attended Lamar when it was Lamar State College of Technology to receive his degree in commercial art in 1956. He was very involved on campus, including activities such as Kappa Pi and Redbird staff. From 1956 to 1959, Lynn Sweat worked as a writer and artist for the Beaumont Enterprise and Journal. And before his move to New York in 1960, he worked briefly at KFDM and the Continental Can Company. Once in New York, Lynn Sweat began working with Macmillan Publishing and Altman Stoller Advertising but in 1964, his freelance illustration career really kicked off. This led to the illustration of countless books, including an array of topics such as dragons, geography, and the dangers of smoking. His most popular, and what you may remember him by, is his illustrations with the Amelia Bedelia series by Peggy and Ehrman Parrish. These began in the mid-1970s and show lively illustrations of a humorous and good-natured housekeeper. Aside from his illustrations, Lynn Sweat has continued to work in painting, drawing, and printmaking to this day. Many of his pieces remain in Beaumont Art Institutions, here at Lamar, including in the Dean of Fine Art and Communications Office, and in the Dishman's Permanent Collection. The top piece, titled Writer, was previously in the University President's House, but when the Dishman recently updated his home collection, the piece came back to live in the Dishman's Director's Office. For this show, we decided to pair it with the other piece, which is untitled, to bring in Lynn Sweat's interesting use of patterns. Each piece complements the other through its bold composition, emphasis on color theory, and the sense of pride shining through the subjects. Surreal, with the abstract characters and hazy feeling, but somehow familiar as well, allowing us to see a little bit of ourselves in the piece and fully immerse in the mysterious works of art. Sweat's style is unmatched and pulls inspiration from many sources while using dramatic lighting, dreamlike scenes, and interesting imagery of animals, masks, castles, old homes, and figures, especially dancers, which can be tied to his wife Eleanor, who is a dancer herself. Simple, yet so distinct and interesting, Lynn Sweat's work remains one to remember through the decades and could be classified under various art movements. Lynn Sweat is now in his 80s and living in Connecticut, but he continues to work as an artist and stay in touch with Southeast Texas. You can follow him on Instagram to see a wide range of his work that he posts daily, and you may even receive a personal message thanking you for your support. He is a kind, friendly, and generous man who I know each person is proud to know, and we are glad to have as a representative for Southeast Texas. Thank you, Lynn, for sharing your art and being a positive light to us all. We will see you next time.